What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marco Gotti once again. If I'm Marco, I got my boy right now. Monday in here with me today. Suave, whatever you want to call him. Got him in here with me today, man. Shout out for sure. What's, What's up, man? How you been, man? How you man, living? Man. Bless, bless. I'm glad we went ahead and made this happen. You know, we talked about this about a week ago. Yeah. You know, and got right to it. So yeah, that's the sir. tip I'd like to be on, um, man. For sure. Go ahead, uh, you know, just introduce yourself to the people. Let me know who you are. My name's Renard Monday, Sunday to Sunday. High Hope Agency, High Hope Enterprises. Oh man, the blue hats. Where you come from, man? Where you from? Man, from the south side, man. Grew up in Riverdale. Okay. Yep, took it down Tar Boulevard, moved to Hampton. You know, and show sure, everywhere in between, man. Just the south side of Tar Boulevard, you know, we come from uh, Hoops and Fitness, man. Firehouse, you know. <laughs> The show. Mm -hmm. How was it growing up? It was good growing up, man. I'm blessed to have both my parents, you know, and just really enjoyed playing different sports, listening to different music. Show, sure. you know, just getting uh, getting that worldview, you know, giving the opportunity to think. Feel you know I me? Mean? Like being being taught to think on your own, think for yourself. You know, it's really, it really made things smoother as as I've gotten older. So, mm. at a young age, yeah. What are some, what are some of the uh, hobbies you like to do? Like, you said sports. Yeah. Shit, I guess music. Yeah. See, sports you play? Football, basketball, baseball. Okay. I, I did the soccer team for a season. You know, I was just trying to get, you know, get that whole world view, but I feel like I, I took basketball the most serious. Yeah, basketball the most serious. So, yeah, you a ball player. You a ball player, my guy. About, about basketball, you basketball. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So, Rick Not Monday is the name. Tell them uh, how you came up the name Rick Not Monday. All right, so my name's Renault. Um, my original artistic name was Suave, Suave. So, you know, from that point, I said I wanted to be a little bit more personal. So, I decided, man, you know, I'm gonna go by my real name. And Monday, you know, that's that. That's that first opportunity to make something happen in the work week, man. We embrace that, you know. Yeah. I feel like that's what that I That made sense, to, that made sense. That's what I wanted to evoke, man. I look forward to living every day, you know. I look forward to my Mondays, you know. You look forward to your Saturdays. Okay. Yeah. Right now, Monday, that's the name. That's how you made it up. What made you want to get uh, into music? Man, honestly, it was just one of those slip ups, man. Like I've been I've been rapping my whole life, man. Like as as a young dude, my pops, they used to play chess in the garage. This one I was in Riverdale. Yeah. Um, Woodlake. He um be playing chess with his boys, they'd be kicking it, you know, music playing. And they used to bump that uh Tupac Machiavelli. And so during Tupac, you know, and during that point in time, I would be three, four years old and I wanna go out there and buy. So sure. but mom's was like, nah, don't go, don't go. But I still, you know, find a way to talk her into it. And I step in there. As soon as I step in the door is the only way you in here, you got to rap. Facts. You know, from jump. And then I get my rap on, stay in there for 10 minutes. Then it's time to slide. You know, and that, that broke the stage fright at that point. You know, grew up a little bit. Elementary school, I used to memorize, like, old school artists rhymes and then I spit them bitches back. Okay. So second grade. What like grade. in America? Or like class or some shit? No, nah, like I probably do it at home and then I spit it at school. 
because I could remember lyrics like this, you know. So that was part of the grooming process, but I still wasn't taking music serious. And, uh, you know, it was all sports coming up. That's what the goal was, just all, all ball. Yeah. And, you know, once I got to Kennesaw, man, and wasn't hooping no more, I got in front of that pen, you know, and I always was good with, um, like poetry and English class and stuff like that, but yeah. I went ahead and pushed that button when I had time. Like, damn, I'm in college. What you want to do with your free time? So I was either hooping or writing something or listening to music, you know, and that that grew my fondness for it because it allowed me to like go towards a, a creative pinnacle. You know, that shit took me and I see, okay, this is the direction I'm going in now. Let's see how good I can get at this. Yeah. Because I'm just starting. Let me see what it can be. Okay. So went for it. Yeah, for sure. All right. When you made your uh, your first your first song? Uh, I made my first song. I think I was in. It might be a misquote because I don't remember exactly, but I think I made my first song in ninth grade. Oh, okay. So you. Yeah, um, dude behind the mic in that grade. Yep, yep. It was some dudes. Uh, my boy David Sheets. I ended up getting in there with him, and um, I ended up linking with my boy Dota. Uh, I rock with him now. You know, he was he was the first person to get me in the studio consistently. Okay. You know. Um, Shout out to Dota. Yeah, my boy Drowsy. He the one that got me in the studio for the first time ever. Drowsy Beach, I yeah, know about Drowsy Beach, yeah, yeah, so then it just, uh, it just evolved over time, man, just doing it, you know, for the passion of it, like, still, still growing in it, seeing where it come. Makes sense. I seen you just, uh, drop Crown uh, Laugh Later not too long ago, a yeah. few weeks back. Yeah, I, back. How often you say you record? Oh, man. When I'm on it, I'm recording three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I got to live, you know, so seriously, like, I really, I take hiatuses or hiatus side. Uh, um, from music or to music? From music. Okay. I stop doing it, you know, and I have to live. Like, I got to stop to live, have experiences grow as a person, then I can talk about what just happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like those those time periods expand the creativity, you know, because I'm doing more stuff. I'm seeing more, you know, and I need that. How long you say you work with the take you to work on the full mixtape? Oh, one song? Um, one song? We'd like to perfect it. I can get an idea out in 10 minutes, five minutes. But as far as like me sitting down and getting behind it and taking time to make sure it's right, you know, I got songs that I finished in one night. I got songs that I'm sitting on from three, four years ago. You know, so it's, it's, cer it's certain records where it's like, damn, this has potential to be better than that. I'm gonna put more time into it. You know, we, we got no problem sitting on it and, you know, raising raising that kid up the right way. You know, I got some I got some songs that's pre teens right now. Yeah. You know. That's walking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um some of those records gonna come out on the next project we're working on. Um, it's called The Rise and Fall of Britney Beamer. Britney Beamer. Yeah, Britney Beamer. Yeah, so you know that's like a um what you call it, like, uh, it's like a compilation woman. Okay. It's a compilation woman of different women that I've met throughout my life. <laughs> you know what I'm uh -oh. saying? Yeah, uh -oh. smooth, okay. you know, but, but basically what, what the project does is it breaks down the different elements of the relationship, you know, communication, you know, fun, love. You know what I'm saying? I live yeah. above. Wide array. You know what I'm saying? You know? So that's going to come out. What about uh, projects? How long for projects? Um, 
same similar similar answer like I got some projects like Mondays that was different songs from you know That's different bad. time periods like just jumbled around but a but a record a project like uh, Yesterday is Gone that was supposed to be a mixtape I recorded all that stuff in one night and then we end up making it a, a legitimate EP but we did that in one night. That's crazy. It took it took me about three weeks to write the shit, and then we laid everything down in one night. Cry now, laugh later. What about that? Cry now, laugh later. That's that's songs that's from different time periods. Okay. You know, some of those songs been been around longer than others. Okay. What does the uh, creative side come from mm. when it comes to your music? Like, where you find that creative side at? Mm. Man, I think that just come. Within man, that I think we all got that. You yeah. know, like some everybody got. Yeah, some some everybody got. You know, but your intake, like your diet of what you bringing in, like what you looking at, what you hearing, you know, that's all that you can spit out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's the only difference in people' creative streaks. It's like what are they taking in, and that that's reciprocal to what you can put out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, coming up, man, you know, moms, she listened to like Sade and, you know, Frank Sinatra and, you know, Anita Baker, you know, and a lot of a, a lot of smooth music. Kenny G, you know, she she listened to a wide array of music and then my dad does too, but, you know, he, he grew up and went to high school at an all-white high school and he was the only black dude on the baseball team. Oh, so he got put on all the music that was hot, white boy style. So, you know, I'm listening to Hall and Oaks, you know, uh, Billy, shit, uh, Billy uh, Idol, yeah, that type shit. I'm, I'm getting that whole side of music as well. And then he bumped the pop and, uh, you know, all the West Coast shit. So that so that led me to listening to a lot more music. I was gonna say, uh, so you would say, I was gonna ask what man, what motivates you to do music, but I, the way I was gonna say, what your parents? Like, they're, they're a big reason. They're they're definitely a big reason because they introduced me to so much of it, in such a, you know, diverse uh, platter. Of like they listen to so many different types of music, it opened my mind to saying, okay, you know, I have no boundaries of what I can listen to. So you that know, means I got no boundaries of what you can make. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, is it, is it hard to make the music? Um, some of the people that's, that want to try that, you feel like it's hard? It, it definitely takes work, just like anything else. I wouldn't necessarily say it's hard. Because at this point, I can't really look at it from a, from any other spec than what I'm going through right now. It's not hard, but it does take time to get good at it, no matter what it is. Whatever you spend your time on, that's what you'll improve on, no matter what it is. So I feel like music is the same way. What's, uh, what song you say went crazy that made you feel like, oh yeah, this music shit for me? Okay. What's on <laughs> that you drop made you feel that way? Uh, it's actually a song that didn't come out. Uh, I did this freestyle called Level Three Freestyle to a trademark the Skydiver beat. I was in my first year of college, summertime, and when I laid it down, I was like, "Yep, yeah, that was right," because it was a it was an off the top freestyle, mm -hmm. and the way I made it happen, I was like, "Yeah, that's nice." Cause it just flow right off, and I feel like um, the song that actually dropped that that I put out, I say Mona Lisa, okay. you know, cause that was that was a record that you know I got so much involvement, you know, and people people really gravitated to that record. That that let me know it was something serious, you know, from the outside looking. At it. Yeah, so you said that might be the best song I yet, Mona mm -hmm. Lisa. Right now, considering considering everything that went around it, you know, video, 
the promotion behind it and the amount of shows I was doing during that time period, I'm going to say yeah. yeah. But yeah. just music by itself is not. It's not the best song, just music. I am on Alicia. Drop on Alicia. Tell me how the video came about with the okay, okay. women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. So with the women that you had, man. So the idea behind that was that ain't no regular women. Not regular, man. Yeah, that ain't no zero regular. That ain't no oh, call some. They getting paid now. Nah, none of that. Yeah, the yeah. real ones. Yeah, real. That's real women. You know. So what I wanted to do was showcase black female beauty. You know what I'm saying? And the name of the song is Mona Lisa, L I S H A, and and what that's really doing is just showing every different shade, color of black woman, you know, and finding that beauty in all of them, you know, and that was love. You know, we, we made that happen and I think that was a, a two week turnaround, you know, shot by Jarrell Lamar in open season. He came through and got me right for sure, you know, and that was, that was my director's debut. So that was my first time directing, you know, and okay. Oh, and that, that that really that took me took me to the next level right there, man. Yeah, that moment we should crazy. Thanks for that. For sure. For sure. What about, that? What about I, I like this track called Old oh Boy. Oh boy, that's yeah, what my dad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How come me ain't got a track for your mama? How she feel about that? Oh yeah. Cause old oh boy, that's a good track. Man, yeah. went crazy. Yeah, yeah. See, um, we're making a record for my moms. Like I've been, I've been working on it, but when I drop it, that one gotta be special, special. You know, I can't, I can't rush it. I've written songs about my moms, and they just wasn't the one. So I was like, nah, this not the one. Because when you speak on moms, that record gotta be serious. You know, it, be the one. it can't be no dud. You know, Kanye got that. Hey, mama. You know, pop. You know, Melly. Yeah, Melly, he got one. Oh, you do? Yeah, he got one. What's the name of it? Uh, it might be called Mama. Or he got one that went crazy. I, he he went he, I think he might have dropped the while he was in jail type shit. So, mm. shit went crazy. Are you hoping that? Up? What, the uh, Bella guy? This one. The Duce guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Duce guy. The Ari Yeah, the other one. You know. How you build your fan base? Um, really, it's all organic, man. My main thing is, can you hear me? My mic working? Yeah. I thought I was getting too far away from that. What do you do? Say with the sprite guy. You know. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Let me see. What was your question? I forgot. How you build your fan base? Okay. So really, it's just been all organic, man. Just doing these shows, and when I get the shows, I feel like the music speaks for itself. You know, mm -hmm. it's a vibe. You know, because when you come to one of my shows, you get an opportunity to meet people that you know got shit going on. That's 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 creative like we are. You know, I feel like that's that's the family. That's the mastermind that that we bringing together with with these shows. Mr. Monday and Friends. Mm-hmm. That's a vibe. Coming late Labor Day, man. Really a bar. September 2nd, you know? Mr. Monday and Friends. Uh, what about uh, artists? What artists that we collab with? Uh, you just do so much of a dolo thing. Um, I collab with a lot of producers, mainly. You know, my boy Drowsy Beats, my boy Dota. Uh, my boy Don Arkelia. Like these dudes get my sound right. You know, Q Note, the producer. They know you. They get my sound right, you know? And um, right now I've been expanding, working with more producers. Um, some guys in St. Louis, Ray Ray and AR. Tough, they got me a couple records, man. St. Louis. Yeah, okay. yeah. Out the state. Yeah, right way, right way. They doing big things out there. Um, as far as artists, um, newest signee to High Hope Recordings, Free Array. Shout out to him. 
Yeah, it's a girl. She said to her. <laughs> Shout out to her. Yeah, yeah she. Him, huh? <laughs> girl, quick. But yeah, she uh, she sing, beautiful voice. We working on her first record, her debut record right now. That's gonna hit the streets soon. I hope it's yours. Yeah. I was a collab with other parents, someone else. Yeah, that's mine. Okay. Yeah, High Hope okay. Enterprises, High Hope Recordings. Who your favorite artist of all time? Oh man. Favorite artist of all time. It's so many, man. Honestly, I gotta pick one. Everybody, when it comes up to, you gotta pick one. Okay, so your favorite artist of all time. And this is actually the first time I'm putting this out because nobody ever really asked me this shit. Right, so yeah, let me let me think on let me think on it though. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't give you an answer either. But See, I ain't, that's what I'm I saying. ain't the one that's you know. <laughs> Man, man, it's so much. It's so many great uh, artists. You give man. us two, I guess. I can give you two. You gotta give me. If I can give you two, give me Prince and Michael Jackson. Prince and Michael. So you know what I'm saying? You listen to them for heavy. Back not back. not necessarily listen to them heavy. I bump. I bump them a good amount throughout okay. time. I've listened to other people more than them probably. Okay. For sure, but. If you really look Michael, at it, Michael Jackson, Prince. Michael Jackson and Prince, those gotta be. All right, who, which artist footsteps would you follow? Cause out of them two, nah, just period, just period, nobody, <laughs> nobody, because you know this shit is just it's so every man for himself, okay, you know, yeah. and everybody fucking yeah. everybody life different, it's cause this shit is real life. That's another thing, and I think that's how. A lot of people get confused, like, man, it's a perfect situation to live your life the way you want to and be able to create the way you want to, too, you know. So being able to do both, that's a win for me. Yeah. You feel me? Somebody say you can work with uh, anybody in the world. Who would you choose to work with? Drop like a collab album with or something like that. Uh, give me Andre 3000. Yeah. Southside, man. ATL. <laughs> you know? I was going to say, how you uh, compare yourself to other uh, Atlanta artists? Like, Atlanta so much of a, I feel like we so much of a trap. Yeah. Music type city. And you a lyrical artist. Yeah. How you how you see yourself different? How you compare yourself to everybody else? Well, man, I feel like, you know, I feel you on saying that's a it's a trap thing, but Atlanta is such a cultural melting pot, man. It's so much of everything, you know. But I feel like you gotta actually dig into it because we got so much talent out here, man. Really a melting pot. Um, How you find yourself at the lyrical spot though? The lyrical place. What you mean by that? Like, Goddamn, you, you don't make jumpy music, you write real verses. Like, yeah, see, see, because my thing is, you could be compared to like fucking lyrical artists like Big Crit, not, yeah. not Future and Goddamn Young Thug yeah. and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I just feel like that's my lane and that's my life, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking my life, you feel me? And, that's bad. you know, see, I feel like. I'm, I'm not in a position where I got to prove nothing because I'm not working with no gimmicks. So my situation is like, okay, I say what I need to say. Because I, 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 I do this more so for my family that's after me. You know what I'm saying? Like the first thing people look at when you gone is your art. Like no matter what, even if you look back to ancient civilizations, like we can't hear none of the conversations they had, but we damn sure looking at their art every time. So as a man, like this is my art or one of the types of art that I'm leaving behind. You know, so when my great grandkids want to see, oh, what my great grandpa talking about? You want to see one of them see some real shit. I want them to, to be able to see that real shit, to listen to what I'm really talking about. Okay. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. All right, you just dropped Cry Now. 
Laugh later. What's the uh, what's the goal for 2019? 2019, man, just receive blessings, man. Just make yourself available for these blessings. Like I made sure I get three goals a day. That bitch just went crazy. Oh, I can't even cap, boy. Sheesh. That shit just fucked your ear up, man. I got them chest just dropped out of there. God damn, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Big bottle pop. Yeah, damn. That yeah, bit must have been good. And Ben Lear got that shit charged up. Yo, what's the goal to that next thing? My bad, bro. This man. shit just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Go for 2019, man. I'm coming with another project. Um, we got Mr. Monday and Friends in September. That's on Labor Day. Got a lot of things lined up, man. I just wanna, I wanna continue creating, man. I wanna stay in this creative pocket that I'm in right now. One tape or two tapes? What you want? I mean, shit, one of them drops in September, you got what? Three, four more months and do some more work. December. Give them something, something in December to end the with. For Marco Gotti, I'm gonna drop that. Oh, we gonna pop the. Uh, I'm gonna drop the second one. We're gonna pop to so twenty after one. You know I'm gonna end I'm gonna end it with two. I end with two. I appreciate it, my boy. I end with two. Five years from now. Where where you see yourself? Where you like see yourself? Five years from now. How long? Thirty one. I'm gonna be thirty one. Five years from now. I'm driving up ages. Sheesh. Nobody. Uh I have written at least one book. I have one book under my belt. Um you ain't talking about books. I didn't know you were gonna do a book. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have one book See at that. least. And I say I say three films. Three films. Mm -hmm. Okay. What the little shit bigger than music you saying five years ain't play it, man. For sure. For sure, it just, it's so many creative outlets, you know, the music is one, that's sonic, you know, but it's a different storytelling when you get that visual. But you're always going to do music though, like? I'm always going to do music. Okay. Now, now, the type of music is just going to change with how I change. Okay. You know? So, uh, what, yeah. would you, what would you say you would do with your first million dollars somebody Okay, so my first meal, um, honestly, man, you gotta get the house first, and you gotta you gotta pay off the debt. So I'm I'm on my pay off the debt, and I'm gonna get the career up first. Um, and from there, man, you know, just being sensible with the bread, cause the money, the money doesn't change you. The money just amplifies who you are to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you want, you're going to do more of it when, when, when the money comes. I did that. You know, so I want to make sure that I'm still doing the right things, enjoying the right things, and, you know, keeping my keeping my mental diet smooth, you know, my visual diet, and food as well, you know. So. Okay, you, you're a person that you say you went to Kansas. Yeah. Uh, how would you feel? You feel like college was worth going? College was worth it, man. College was definitely worth it. I feel like the main thing it does is it allows you to learn about yourself. You know, it gives you an opportunity to be in more situations, you know, in that in-between phase from graduating high school so now you got to handle business to an extent, but you still got a safety net under you because it ain't really nice. all the way real life yet, you know, but you can try real life shit, you know, so, yeah, in college, niggas was able to start businesses and, you know, learn new stuff about themselves and, and make those, make those type of moves, understanding like, yo, okay, it's cool if I fail right now. Yeah. You know, but I'm about to try this shit because I'm going to bounce back. You know? So, you know, and, and then building your network of people around you, friends, you know, friends that turn to family, you know, that too. What 
Uh, what advice would you give to a young artist? To my young artist, man, I say, you know, one thing is keep that business in order to get your business in line first. And outside of that, man, on the creative side, you know, don't, don't emulate anybody else. You know, I feel like you need to tap into your own, your own creative space and your own personal creative space so that you can put out you, you know, instead of you putting out somebody else. That's, you know, be yourself. That's, that's what this is for. And like I was saying, man, you know, first thing somebody look at when you're gone is your art. You know, so how do you want to be remembered in this is, is very important. How does your, how do you want your life to be remembered? You know, because the first thing somebody going to look at is your art. You, uh, what you like so much about Atlanta? Like, how you feel like it's different from other uh, places or cities? Man, I know you've been a lot of places. Sure. You know, I've been a lot of places. And, you know, different different spots have their positives. And I just feel like Atlanta is home, man. You know, we got, we got beautiful women. You know, our weather is great. And I say our weather is great because it gives us that opportunity to, um, you know, fill every season. Mm -hmm. Like we're one of the only spots that get every season in its totality. Right. You know, so I embrace that about it. And, you know, shit. Birds, falcons, you know, my hawks, my braves. Yes, sir. You know, so. My guys. Definitely a, a great place to have been blessed to grow up, you know, because a lot of people move out here, you know, but we from here. Yeah. Well, I'm from here. You from here too, right? I'm from here, but I went born here, so, you know, but I'm from here. Where you was born at? Nigeria. You know? Transcontinental. Uh, yeah, they grew up in that. Yeah. That shit, go. Yeah. Shit, okay, my boy said he want to, uh... He want to drop a freestyle for y'all, so been dropping a beat. You got, what you got for me, man? Been dropping a beat. What you got for me, man? Like this time freestyle. What you can do it. Ah shit, that's from the Let's top. Go. How much I got on that? That type shit, you know? How much? How much time I got on that? Shit, you got like four minutes, three, four oh, minutes. Oh, we fresh. Yeah, that's from the top. Look, look. Uh, yeah, Monday, Sunday to Sunday, yeah, Sunday to Sunday, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, apple a day, keep the doctor away, couple G's in a week, keep my pockets at ease, blow trees, jet speed, and I hope not to leave, before my pockets increase, she was stiff as a crease, you the freak of the week, yo, let me see that receipt, it's busting out of your jeans, just let me read it in week, the hard rate pick up speed, when she see you got cheese, lethal, yeah, I could point her out from a distance, I throw it a game, she throw it back like a discus, let us not get it twisted, I'm no tricking magician, let me keep it simplistic, get it cracking explicit, pick the position, yo, I be going ballistic, I be tugging extensions, this is living, could have been a statistic, I decided to risk it, spit it acidic, and now we swimming in business, money make the globe spin vicious, so let's go get it, yeah, 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 there's just something I do when it's nothing to do, let's yeah. go, there's just something I do when it's nothing to do, yeah, there's just something I do when it's nothing to do, yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is just something I do when it's nothing to do, yeah, this is just something I do when it's nothing to do, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, when your money funny, you can never get the last laugh on my last leg. Then I broke out in a tap dance. Got upside, stayed down like a handstand. Green thumb, guess I get it from my granddad. I could never half ass, so you would never catch me slipping like a bad back. I'm making business plans, numbers like the dad's deck. Let me, let me get that. We did you down like I can't tell time. Niggas squeal, but they show the telltale signs. Uh. But just tell it I got my groove back. Yeah, yeah. I'm on stage like a crook back. Yeah, yeah. 
Tell it, tell it, give me one fine way. I'm coming off the top of the dome. I'm with my nigga 85 Marco, and he's sitting to the left of me. And you know I'm spitting only best, you see. And we on Instagram live, never shucking job as I'm coming off the top of the brain. Smoking maintain with my main thing. This draining my main vein got me pissed off. I don't really fuck with y'all. I can't sit with y'all. Cause all I can smell is the bitch and y'all. Standing like 6'3 tall, motherfucker. I be unsliding in the DMs like an ice road truck. Blucker, blucker, I'm on my way to Jamaica, Montego Bay, it's for a getaway, each and every day, I get paid, nigga, every day of work day, every day is my birthday, and you know I can't pronounce Verse or Versace, whatever you call it, digging in my wallet, keep a lot of bad bitches calling, but I'm never picking up, yeah, my money need to do a fucking sit up, it's getting fat, would you like that? Oh, you like that two? Oh, you like that three? Baby, what we gon' be? What you wanna do? Come through by myself or I can come with the crew. And you know when it come to women that I got a slew. Coming off the top of the brain, I should've did this from the beginning. Fuck reading writings, I'm still smitten. Motherfucker back and forth like bad mitten. Like what am I gonna do? Am I gonna stay here? Or I'm gonna succumb to all my fears? I'ma crack a beer, we gonna get some Bel Air. Rose, Rose, Paul May, up to the tip top of the cup. Nigga trying to get bucks, nigga, good luck. Come on, man. Yeah. Just go ahead, you know, drop your social media for these folks. I appreciate the freestyle. Man, yeah, man. I go by Renault Monday, R E G N A U L T, and Monday like the day of the week. Every day I work there, every day my birthday. You know, appreciate you having me on this show, man. Came from around the way. This, this the new movement. This the new way. Niggas really came from around the way. I appreciate you, my brother, pushing up for real, for real. Blessings, you know, yeah, and elevation. Yeah. Yeah, I follow him. Yeah, I subscribe to my channel. That's what we're doing. New way. Appreciate it.